putting those in the book. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Now, now, is that important to us tonight? I'm going to stitch it into the, to, to the lesson. Of course, it's important. Everything okay. is important. Amen. Uh, but, but see, sometimes we think we think because of maybe a conversation they had before they got here or, or what they decided they were going to do when they got home. Uh, did they plug the car <coughs> pot in? You know, is it on low or high? Is it going to be, you, you know what I mean? You have one conversation coming in, but that doesn't mean your mind stays there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But God knows all the thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, Glory to God. Ain't, ain't that a good thing? That's a yeah. great thing. Now our flesh would say, no, 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 Because we want to raise up in judgment sometimes. Amen. Uh, everybody know about the Oscar thing and Will Smith got up and slapped that voice kind of like Chris Rock. Uh, yeah, I, I, okay. But he was laughing. With the rest of the crowd. And then he looked over at his wife and she wasn't laughing. She rolled her eyes. Yeah. So now he's going to change his mindset. Mm. What was she thinking? Mm -hmm. He didn't know. He just looked at her face. You know, uh, the perspective was because she didn't have any hair, then it was an insult. But one fellow brought out the fact that uh, the woman she was compared to, G.I. Jane, was an overcomer. That when she saw an obstacle, she went through it, not away from it. And she prevailed against an overwhelming odds. What's wrong with being compared to that? Yes. Amen. Out, well, whether it be out of context or in context, his actions was wrong. Totally wrong. Yes. Amen. That was just. That was just wrong. It would have been too easy for him to walk up there and say, and then go sit down or come on, let's go. And that would have been a perfect protest. You know, he whispered in his ear what would happen, and he can explain it if he wants to, take his wife and leave. If she's hurt, if she's not hurt, he stood up and wouldn't talk to him. He didn't have to do that. Okay, now that she's sitting there thinking, oh, my man stood up for me, or oh my God, he embarrassed me. Right. He made it worse mm -hmm. because he couldn't think what he was thinking. And the first thing Chris Rock said that off, you know, later on is, I'm not someone, it's my friend. Mm. I mean, they even got the police department involved talking about, uh, you know, our DA has to decide if he wants to, you know, press charges. The academy, they haven't said anything. It's just people. Amen. People. Let's get this party started. Yes, Can we sir. do that? Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, as I look around the room and I see your children sitting here, yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you thank you amen. because you ordained this day before the foundation of the world. Ooh. Ooh. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. I didn't know how many you did. I didn't know who you did. Yes. Father, I thank you. Ah. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. I could have been standing here talking to myself. Yes. And you. Ah. Come on. But Lord, I stand here talking to your children. Hallelujah. Both here and those that are out there in technology land. Yes. And I pray, God, that you would do something in their spirit that would encourage them. Yes. Like never before. Yes. Oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen. And the church said, Amen. 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 Uh, I give honor to the Lord tonight and yeah. to my wife, of course. Amen. Um, some folks like to say my better half and my other half. Yeah. Amen. All I know is I'm incomplete without her. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, I, I used to, I had to uh, had to tell her I was sorry. I had to tell her I was sorry. I had to apologize to your first lady once. Amen. And I've done it a few times since then because I, I, I falsely accused her. Amen. I accused her of stealing my heart. 
but I found out that my heart didn't belong to me from the beginning. So how could she steal something from me when it don't belong to me? She's, the Lord gave it to her. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? He didn't ask me if, how I felt about it. Oh. <laughs> he just did it. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's a good thing. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to go uh, and, and, and do a little recheck here on chapter seven. And since we didn't get very far last week, we're just going to start chapter seven, verse one. Is that all right? Yes. All right. <laughs> Amen. You ready to have some fun in the Lord tonight? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You better, you ready to better understand his word? Oh, yes. yes. Become wise? Yes. Mm. Mm. Wisdom is the principal thing. Yes. Therefore, yes. get wisdom. Yes. But in all thy getting, yes. get an understanding. Yes. And if I was going to throw a caveat on there, I said the only thing beat up understanding is a better understanding. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A revelatory understanding. Hello, somebody. Okay. Revelatory means you had a revelation. Yes. You can't have revelation by yourself. Yes. Revelation comes from God. Yes. So if he opens it up, you ought to understand. It. Yes. If he opens it up and you don't understand it, it's not revelation. Oh, yes. It fell on dry ground. Yes. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Your hand was up? No, so I'm praising God. Oh, praise God. Praise, praise him on. Amen. Yes. All right. John 7 and 1. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jure, because the Jews sought to kill him. And remember, I told, I told you that I thought it was a, a typing error, but I found out that it basically means Judean land. So J-E-W-R-Y is a word, and it means Judean land. Now, keep in mind where he just came from. Remember, uh, we have needs to go through Samaria. And he met a woman by a well. Oh, come on, y'all. And he spent days with them. I believe it was four days talking to the elders there. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they were mm -hmm, Samaritans. They were a product of uh, a captivity where they were, let me see. How do I say this? Mm -hmm took most of the men out and brought other men in and they made babies. And the men that they brought in were heathen, even idol worshipers. In other words, we are gonna uh, dilute this thing they have that they so proud of, the, pure, the purity of their race. I, see. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember the famous Dr. Martin Luther King said uh, that there'd become a time where all men, amen. And, and then I remember another, I say, I'll be putting stuff together, add stuff together. Maybe it don't belong together, but I do it anyway. <laughs> uh, Oprah had a show and she brought them folks up there on the stage and she said, some of you folks, uh, there's prejudice. I mean, she brought the head of the Ku Klux Klan out there, amen. And they had this research and found out uh, this brother got a great great grandfather or grand, grand, grandmother that was part black, messed him up because he was saying how bad, you know, people of color were and right. found it. And she did some digging and found out you got it in your family there, partner. Right. You ain't pure either. Amen. Amen. But isn't it nice to know you can be a pure Christian? Yeah. Isn't it nice to know you can be a pure saint of God? Oh, yeah. So when Jesus come walking out of the land, he said, I ain't going over there. Why? I'm going to tell you in a second here, but I'm not going over there because my time is not yet. Mm -hmm. Have you ever got, God ever told you to do something, but then it seemed like everything just stood in the way and, and, said, and it came out to be a not yet? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I want to live there. Not yet. I want to do this. Not yet. I want to, I want to just visit. Not yet. And then, and then he'll turn around and say, real long sentence, now. Right? <laughs> and now here we go, now what? <laughs> and now you got to pray and ask, now what, Lord? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It, it keeps yeah. you talking to him, amen. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Verse two, now the Jews feast of tabernacles was at hand. Uh-huh. And, and we found out that it is uh, the last half of September and the first half of October. It, 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 and it's the 15th day of the month of Tishri, T-I-S-R-I. -I. Then Leviticus 23 says, then the generations may know that I am, I made the children of Israel to dwell uh -huh, in booths. Because this, this, this tabernacling they have, it was the Feast of Tabernacles. The tabernacle, your house. But you had to come. You, did, you had to come, but your house is not here. Well, you bring a tent. One big one? No, everybody bring one, so you in tabernacles. Amen? Amen. Isn't that something that he knew you were coming and what you'd be living in? Yes. Oh. oh, Lord, help us. Some of us came out of houses that, well, thank you, Lord. Yeah. I ain't there no more. Praise the Lord. Amen. For a spell, some of you had houses uh, sitting on be of good rich tires. <laughs> yeah, and, and they might have been bald, too. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. or, or, or behind somebody's building. Yeah. But thank God for Jesus. Thank yeah. God for mercy. Yeah. You're living in the house now. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and if it's because of a lesson that you had to learn, oh, God, did you ever take the thought, let me learn this lesson and move on? Right. Yeah. If I'm stuck in the third grade, I need to graduate this thing and move on up. Amen. Uh, verse three, his brethren, therefore, said unto him, depart hence and go into Judea and, uh, and thy disciples uh, also may see the works that thou doest. Now, 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 if we were to look at John 4, uh, John, John chapter 4, and I want to look at verse 1 through uh, 5 here. Amen. You, you don't have to read it, but at least write it down as a reference point. When therefore the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, hmm. though Jesus himself baptized not his disciples, but his disciples. Amen. Uh -huh. He left Judea and departed again into Galilee. He must needs to go through Samaria. We talked about that. Then cometh to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son, Joseph. And we talked about Jake, uh, his well. And from his well, you could see a mountain, and that's where they worshiped from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they wasn't welcome to go to Jerusalem. So we didn't worship here. Yeah, yeah. But they had enough worship and in-depth study to understand that there's one coming that would know everything about you. Mm. So what are you saying? There's hope for us because he knew what he was getting when he got you. Mm. Come on. <laughs> what the devil do? He going to get on your shoulder and say, you know you ain't worthy. Mm. Uh, and what can we say? Yeah, no. Oh, don't get down about it. You know you ain't worthy. <laughs> but if you could do it without God, you wouldn't need him. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I, you know you ain't worthy. I know. His grace and mercy towards me. His love and kindness towards me. Oh, what you going to do with that, devil? Yeah. Because you still out. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> let, let me get on back to the lesson. Amen. I'll, I'll, mm, let me see. Where did I leave off? Uh, verse four. It said, uh, for there is no man that doeth anything in secret, comma, pause, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. Uh, if thou do these things, show thyself to the world. What are you saying? Well, we talked about that a, a couple of minutes ago, a couple of moments ago. Amen. What was that? Well, if the Holy Spirit dwell in you, can he see you and what you do? So are you really doing anything in secret? No. Because see, if, if, if me and Manuel, Manuel and I go off and do something, let's say we go plot on Claudia and surprise her or something, right? And, and she find out about it. And he know he didn't say that. He gonna look at me and said, "You said something." Come on. 
Amen. Yeah. But see, he could accuse me of doing so, but he'd also have to take into consideration the law and the sharpness of her wit because she might have been looking at the, you know. That's right. Look, anytime my wife go off someplace, yeah, I know she's watching, amen. The alert is set for anything over one dollar. So I, I know where she is because the alert said pink and I look, oh, she don't bought a coffee. Right. <laughs> and, and, and they tell me where she bought it. And then I get on my technology and see where she is. Hey, man, somebody. Amen. But see, I have to use a device to find out. Yeah. When Holy Spirit gets involved, <laughs> when we first, we first met, I said, uh, is there anything you want to ask me about? you know, my past or anything like that. You know what she said? She didn't say, let me pull out the book and here's a hundred thousand questions. No, you know what she said? She said, no, Holy Spirit will reveal anything I need to know. Oh. Scared of you. Right. <laughs> Why is that? Because he did. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> See, but 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 understand this. Jesus, um, this statement says that Jesus seeks popularity, which is not true. Jesus sought to be a bridge for the kingdom of God, bringing back the children of God into right fellowship with God. That's what he sought. Amen. Amen. When a dad brings home his paycheck, he's not seeking popularity. He's seeking the end result of why did he work for. Right. Amen? Amen. When you work hard, busting sweat, doing what you do, you expect that, spe- that check not to bounce. Because yeah. you work first, then you get paid. Come on. Y'all gonna help me tonight. I'm gonna make you help me tonight. <laughs> uh, but see, neither did his brethren believe in him. He's not talking about the 12. Talking about them other brothers from Samaria. They didn't believe in him as much as they believed in the miracles that he did. There you go, watching TV in church. (laughs) His name is Michael D. Patrick. My elder, I'm gonna claim him. I'm gonna claim him. I will do that. Right after school. <laughs> but I'm claiming. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you too. I don't know what you was doing. But apparently he didn't either. Amen. Mother, verse six. Then Jesus said unto them, my time has not yet come. How you talking to class? Me and you, right after school, we going to have it. (laughs) My time has not, oh, I know what it is. The second half of this scripture is for him. See, Jesus said, my time has not yet come. But your time is always ready. Yeah. Right after class. Amen. Amen. See, what are you saying? Indication of a completion of purpose. How many know you got a purpose in on, on this earth? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, how many done? Anybody completed their purpose? No. Anybody complete their course? No. Because if, if you have or you're growing near it, I need to sit down with you and we need to write out some stuff for your final wishes because you're about to go home. Right. As long as you're still here, God's got a purpose for you. Hallelujah. You could be laying in a sick bed. The purpose might not be yours, but to just be sick, but he's touching the hearts of somebody else. He yeah. sent you to that place because you got a witness to the nurse. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hello, somebody. Uh huh. So when you go through some stuff, you ain't always going through by yourself mm-hmm. or for yourself. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Verse seven: The world cannot hate you. 
Wait, Lord. Some of them do. The world cannot hate you, but me, it hated. Because I testify of it, the works, therefore, are evil. So when they look at you and you, you ever walk into a room and sense somebody don't like you and you, ain't, you don't even know their name? Right, right. They just look at you and decide, I don't like you. And you ain't done nothing to them. It's not you. It's the God in you. Because mm -hmm. soon as you act like him, oh, he's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you don't act like him, you act like your heavenly father, he's going to keep on hitting you. Come on, that's right. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. Uh, go ye up into the feast. Go on, y'all go to the feast. I go not up yet into this feast. For my time is not yet full. Not for, you're fully come. I'm getting close. Yes, sir. Ooh. They can't know who my real identity is because I'm getting close. Because yeah. see, if, if they were like some of the disciples, they would say, well, Lord, if you would just take over <clears throat> here, it would thwart his purpose for coming. And us in, we'd be in trouble. Because then the rain and, and the anointing would have been in that area for that dispensation of time for that people. And that's it. Amen? Amen. What are you saying? His time to die was not yet come. Because he came to die. He said, if I be lifted up. Yes. I will draw them in. Now, some people take and, and put the, 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 the vision in folks' minds when they speak that he was on a cross about 10 feet up in the air. The movies depict him way up in the air. Not necessarily so. All you got to do is have your feet off the ground. That's far as it is. And the fact that they could take and put a sponge on a stick and say, here, want to drink something? And line the road with bodies going up to Golgotha. They had ornaments on the sides of the roads. They were human, hanging on crosses. To tell people coming into the city, don't mess up, or this is your fate. Because mm -hmm. everything they had back then is, oh, death. Oh, death. Mm -hmm. Oh, death. Uh, Paul said, uh, who will deliver me from this body of death? What they do? Because if they prove that I killed this man, they would take his body and mummy wrap it myself to it. So when it decayed, it would take me out. And I would live as long as it took for me to die. Horrible way to die. You know, there's some twisted folks that have walked this planet. Amen. Nero going to have a party, hanging Christians, dipping in thatch and set them on fire, call them torches yeah. to light their party at night. Mm -hmm. There is some twisted minds yeah. oh. on this planet. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's look at verse 9. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. For the hour has not yet come, right? But when his brethren were gone up, and he also up into the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. What are you saying? Came through the back door. Uh, low profile. Amen? Amen? Now, we also know that because we have the advantage of the Bible, that the, the, the triumphant entry, as we call it, that he rode the cult of an ass into town. And they were hollering out, Hosanna, Hosanna, or Hosanna, Hosanna. Right. Amen. That was the grand entrance. This was not, because that was the time had come. This is not yet. So he creeped into town. Yeah. Yeah. Not to say our God got creeping and open, but the timeline had to be right. Yeah. What are you saying? When God is going to bless you with something, we want it now. Yes, sir. Don't we? Yeah. We want the house 
now. We want the car now. We want the bank account full after we get the car and the house now. We want the belly full now. We want the house clean now. We want the kids beautiful and safe now. We want everything now. And he says, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Lord, why not? I remember, I think it was in San Jose. They were building a flyover over the freeway. Was that San Jose? Maybe LA. Because I remember seeing it. It was just silly. In fact, if you go down Highway 99, you see something silly. It's the, the, the above ground train track for this bullet train That's right. that don't exist. Yeah. So you're driving down the road and you look over and go, hmm, ain't nothing hooked to it on either end. No. Well, what's it doing there? Taking up space. Right. What's it serving? An eyesore. It serves no function. Are you with me tonight? Oh, yeah. Stick with me. I'm going somewhere. So if my development in, the, in my walk with the kingdom is at one place and I want it to be a one in the now thing, so it's all the way over there, it wouldn't serve no purpose because the people that I would be involved with are not yet. The Bible calls it prayer venture. So when God calls all these intersections to intersect and connections to connect, it's his, in, in his timing that it all happened at the right time. Mm -hmm. I told my wife, I said, because she had this rule that said, if you was five years older or five years younger, we wouldn't be. Then later on, she switched it. She said, no five years younger. Just five years older. That's all you get, buddy. <laughs> and then she calculated and she said, one more month and you would have been out. <laughs> I said, you kidding you wouldn't make an exception. She goes, no, that was my hard rule. And, and I didn't change my rule. <laughs> Amen. And, and, and when, when, <laughs> when people used to look at me, I, I could show you a picture. I ain't going to do it now. I ain't going to do it on camera either. But she looked like she's about 15, 16 years old when we first met. But she was 35. Right. And I said, let me see your driver's license. I didn't believe it. She showed me a driver's license. I said, here, take it back. It's fake. It's got to be fake. You are not 35 years old. Yes, I am. No, you're not. These are my kids. You borrow them from somebody. I wouldn't <laughs> believe nothing. Right? And we went, and, and people looked at me like, Dude, Mother Day would do double takes and, and then throw something on the end of it. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Mother, I was in a church when they did it. What? Yeah. Now, I got some salt and pepper, but my daddy was salt and pepper when he was in his 30s, and here I come. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, got more salt now, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. They look at me all hard. As they made judgments on me, uh, yeah. Yeah. but they just didn't understand. And I thought about to myself, I said, wait a minute, so she's five years old. So if I was 18, <laughs> then that double take look would have made sense. <laughs> hey, Amen. Because you take all five, now what you mess with that little girl for? Right. I could have said, I'm just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and they would say, you need to wait over there. <laughs> you can't wait here with her. <laughs> and she, no. Amen? Amen. And she's 13. <laughs> no. Go on over there. <laughs> but prayer venture said, you meet her when she's 35. Yeah. Yeah. Now you understand the example? Yes. Okay. Yes. Jesus said his time had not yet come. So watch this, verse 11. And the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? Where is he? Now, which part of the Jews? We ain't talking about Nicodemus. He ain't coming to the picture yet. We talking about Caiaphas and his, his crew looking for Jesus to kill him. Yes, sir. To bump him off because he's messing with their system. Mm -hmm. He's messing with their income. Amen. You want to get in trouble? Uh, find a way that you ain't got to pay no taxes. Mm -hmm. 
they're going to scrutinize you. They're going to oh, walk, yeah. walk you up and down because you keep telling people how to do it. So they're going to come after you because they want to discourage you. Watch this. Uh, the Jews are to be understood, the scribes, the Pharisees, the rulers of the people, of the people, and not the inhabitants of the province of Judea. So when they said the Jews, that's who they're talking about. Those that would lose money. Then the Jews uh -huh, sought him at the feast, some to, to take him and kill him. Others, they wanted to know about his doctrine. They were true scholars and they wanted to know in this batch, Nicodemus. Because there was a problem here. He may have been a heretic. He may have been uh, possessed by a devil, maybe. But how are these miracles being done? You said you have you faith in the Father, but how is he doing these miracles if he's all this close to hell kind of person? So Nicodemus, well, you know, kind of crept over there and talked to him at night mm -hmm. to find out what he was about. Without the pressure from his crew, mm -hmm, the other set, the seven, uh, the sixty-nine of them, or sixty-eight of them plus the high priest, because the Sanhedrin was seventy folks. Okay. But he wanted to know how is it he could do all these miracles? <laughs> but how many had he done? How, how many miracles do you have to do before people believe that you're who you say you are? How, how many unusual things have to happen before your connection with the Father is established and understood. How many surgeries have to happen and they were no for no reason? My daughter called me and said, hey, daddy, how you doing? I said, hey, I'm doing all right. How you doing? I said, yeah, fine. And towards the end of the conversation, right before we get ready to hang up, oh, daddy, but by the way, I'm going to surgery tomorrow. For what? What well, I said, I got cancer. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> got off the phone. I prayed with her. Got off the phone. She said, you going down there? Cameron Hospital. I said, mm -hmm. Call. So I ain't coming to work. Check on my daughter. Went in there. Scared the tar out of me because I wasn't there. The room that they said she was in, she wasn't in there. The bed was all made up. Oh. Mm. You, you, you know that. Oh. Yeah. I had a oh moment. And, and then found out she's on the other side. Okay. Found her. Prayed with her again. It says, time to go. So they're rolling her, and I walk right alongside. Okay? And they said, well, this is where you're going to have to split up, because you got to go over there and wait. This is going to take a couple hours. So the nurse will call you. Somebody say nurse. Nurse. The nurse will call you. She's got to go that way. I went on in there, and I started talking to the Lord again. Then the phone rang. It was the doctor. Ooh, another moment. I'm the doctor. Keep talking, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a wordsmith. I'm listening to the words. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, say so. I saw the cancer. Keep coming. But when I went in, mm. I couldn't find nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many times does that have to happen before you believe there's a God? Right. How many times did you have to intercede for somebody? Come on, Mike. They had to intercede for somebody, and he blessed your kinfolk. How many miles away? Yeah, 200-something. 200 200-something 200 miles away, letting you know that his word will travel. Right. Somebody say, have word. Have word. Have word. Have word. Have word. Hey, sound like a Western or something. Right. Oh, that's right. You say, have good word. Amen. Verse 12, and there was much murmuring among the people concerning him, for some said, he's a good man. Would you be in that song? He's a good man. Now, some would don't, don't like him because he went and saw them Samaritans. He's a bad man. But the Samaritans think he's a good man. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and others said, uh-oh, no, but he deceiveth the people.
See, he, he deceived the people by drawing them off of the law of Moses, teaching them to break the Sabbath, getting himself up uh, for the title of Messiah, uh -huh, and asserting himself to be the son of God. Now, if you think about it, narrow your thought down, because see, we have the benefit of the book. But those that hadn't, the book ain't been written yet. Amen, at least half of it. And, and, and they're sitting there going, mm, ah, we would be there too. Yeah. We would have been there going, ah, oh. and, but how do we explain America? How do we explain the Samaritans that, 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 that he went in there and told everybody what they had done? Because he didn't do any miracles over there other than that. Told a woman, you got five husbands, and the one you went now ain't yours. That's right. Can you imagine her face? Oh! Yeah. How'd you know that? I ain't never seen you before. Yeah. It, it ain't in the newspapers. The tabloids. Oh, you, you must be a prophet. Must be. Mm. See, now, now, if you want to jot this down, Mark 2. Uh, verse 23 through 28. Mark 2. Let me go get that myself. Uh, I think I think it's pertinent enough to uh, recognize that uh, we should read it. Is that all right? Yes, sir. You got it? Mark 2, 23 through 28. You there? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, 22. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine does burst the bottles. It expands. And the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred, and the new wine must be put into a new bottle that allows for stretching. Because the wine bottle made out of lambskin. Mm -hmm. In the fermenting process, it swells up. That's why when you, you in it, OK, I just moved on. <laughs> it came to pass that when uh, uh, through the cornfields on the Sabbath day, his disciples began as they went to pluck the ears of corn. Now, this is the Sabbath day now, but we hungry. And we travel in preachers, following the Christ. You all right? Yeah. Are you with me there? Oh, yeah. Can you see it happening? Oh, yeah. There's a cornfield here, and it's got corn in it. <laughs> and we hungry. Right. And we don't have no storehouse. We don't have no MREs. We don't have no store. We don't have no restaurant we can run to real quick. No fast food. You had to cook it. All right. Yeah. And the Pharisees said on time, behold, why do they on the Sabbath day, uh, that was not, not, which is not lawful. And he said, have you never read what David did when he had need? And he was, and hungry, when he was hungry, he, uh, and, and they that were with him, you, you ain't heard about that? Mm -hmm. In fact, they didn't wash their hands. That's, that don't sound like a big deal, but the, the Jewish ceremonial washing by hands, yeah. you had to wash sometimes with your hands hanging down so the water rubbed this way. And then other times you wash your hands and hang them up this way, that they run down that way. Is that a big deal? Well, remember the Black Plague over in England land? You heard about that, right? The Black Plague? Yeah. Look, it was in world history. Did you go to, you didn't go to school that day. <laughs> Blue Bonnet Plague, Black Plague. Oh yeah. Swine flu. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> Look, pull their head out of that hole. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Black Plague, they blamed it on the Jewish folk. Why'd they do that? You ever see a, a you know, old English movie and their fingernails are always, ooh, you eat with them things? You know what I'm talking about? It looked like they've been scratching on in a shoe polish box or something. I mean, it's just black. And then boom, 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 eat. You, you ain't never noticed that? Them nasty folk. Yes, sir. But the Jewish, between their custom and washing their hands, didn't pass the, the bug around 
easily. So their numbers were few. And because they wasn't getting sick, they blamed it on them. Mm -hmm. You brought this here. That's why you ain't getting sick. We getting sick. It's your fault. Mm -hmm. And here they here come the devil again after the Jewish folk. I see. Come on. That's good. Now you get one. <laughs> okay. So some of the things that God would have you do would bless you to the place where you're not afflicted. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Put blood over the mantle. How come you ain't never had nothing bad happen in your house? Yeah. There's blood on my mantle. Right. What are you talking about? Blessed oil. Yeah. 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 How many of y'all blessed the, the windows and the doors in your house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now, you know, you know, you know what that did, right? To, in, in the eyes of the heathens, what that did is you just made it hard for the painter because you put oil on the wall. <laughs> but in, in, in the faith of the kingdom, you anointed and dedicated your home to the Lord. Now, I'm going to bounce out of here, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, we're coming back to this, this moment in, in a few moments because we need to understand something, what happens back then, okay? And I'm trying to keep it in order so your notes will make sense to you. Uh, write this down, Genesis 2 and 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And then some folks say, you don't work, you don't do nothing, you don't. Oh, I wish I had one. Anybody got a handkerchief? Or oh, here, I, I, I just do it like this. Have one. Okay. Here's a handkerchief. I'm violating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just violated Jewish law. Right. right. Why is that? It's the Sabbath. And I got a handkerchief, mm -hmm. which means I anticipate. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Yeah. I ain't used it. It's just. But y'all don't sweat over there. In that region, I understand it gets over 100 degrees. Yeah. If you can't carry a handkerchief, what you put? Do you like this here? <laughs> What's up? You know what I mean? Yeah. So the rules said. No, you can't carry that. Just sit there and don't move. Because if you do anything, you violated the Sabbath. That's right. But but that's the Pharisee. The Sabbath, God rested from his work. What work? Creation. Because he's a God that never sleeps, yeah. never slumbers. Why? He, we keep him too busy. So he rested on the Sabbath day from creating and put seed in everything he created so it would reproduce itself and he ain't got to do that every day. Yes, sir. Or excuse me, every week. You understand that? That's why there ain't nobody walking out the, the jungle talking about I'm the new man. My granddaddy named Cheetah. No. He put the seed in man to produce man, just like he put the seed in the apple tree to redu repro uh, reproduce apples. Like he put the seed in the grass to reproduce grass. That way he ain't got to say, break off, come forth. I declare it every single week. So seeing that he rested from creation, he did not rest from watching over us. He did not rest in salvation because he had a plan he had to put together. He did not because he said, you, you, you're going to have a boy and he's going to bruise the head of Satan. Yeah. Hmm. That takes, somebody said, that takes planning. That takes planning. Uh-huh. And not only does it take planning, it takes execution of the plan. Let me just move on because I'm taking too long. Hmm? Yes, it does. It multiplies. She said it multiplies. You take one little grain of corn, put it in the ground, you get a stock with two to five, depending on the, the, the breed of corn, two to five ears. And each ear, depending on the brand, but 250. Yeah. That's multiplication. Yeah. But if you had yourself a big old bowl of popcorn, you just destroyed your, 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 your increase. Yeah. You ate your blessing. <laughs> Got to think about eating popcorn, man. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Amen. 
Howbeit no man spake openly of him, for they feared the Jews. Uh -huh. The fear of the Jews, the fear, what, what are they doing? They, they don't want to get jumped, beat up, persecuted, kicked out of the synagogue, because that's what would happen. They kick you out the club. And if you weren't allowed to go in the synagogue, they ostracized you everywhere. They wouldn't do business with you. Sound familiar? If you don't take the mark of the beast. Mm. Go, go, come around again. Uh, uh, but they, they were not allowed to express their true sentiments. Does that still happen today? I have a, a, a cap that I wear. I used to love wearing it. I still do. It's red. It's a baseball cap like yours, but it's red. And from behind, you can't tell if it says Trump on the front. You can't tell if it says make, a, make a America great. So people be coming by going, give me that look. And then they get in the front and they see a hawk. Because that was a school colors at Los Mercedes College. And I look at them like, what? <laughs> Was you gonna say something? <laughs> That's the hat. That's the hat. See, it said Lost Pacitas College on the front, but from the back, it don't say nothing. And they be, because <laughs> kids was being beat up for a hat. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Make America great. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. What's wrong with making you know, your homeland? You really want to make it great? Bring God back in. Amen. Put him back in the school where he belongs. Yes. yes. Put him back in every home in yes. Hamlet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just move on. Verse 14. We only got like what 40 more verses. Now, about the midst of the feast. Somebody say in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Jesus went up into the temple and taught. So what do you mean? It's day four. Day four. Now he appeared publicly. He done stepped out. And now people are saying, that's him right there. So now you know that the talking is, there's murmuring going on now. There he is. That's him. Yeah? Yeah. Man was towed up for 38 years. He fixed him. Yeah? Yeah. I wonder what else he's going to do. Let's go see. So now they're in throng because they're, they're, whoo, they're swooping on him. He has made his presence known. And the Jews marveled, saying, how knoweth this man letters, having never learned? What are you saying? What's his credentials? Y'all ever meet, go, uh, read Chronicles? How about Matthew, book of Matthew? The first couple of chapters are pretty rough. All them begots is in there. Yeah. Yeah, he begot him and he begot him and he begot him and he begot him. And you don't know them people. You, you don't even know your own cousins. Yeah. You go to a family reunion, who that? That's your cousin? Right. It is? Yeah, okay. Who were them, cousins? Wow, I got a lot of kids for my, my cousin played basketball. His name is Hubert Osby, number 35, Harlem Globetrotters. He said, cuz, you need to come back here to a family reunion. I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, you got a lot of cousins. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Two or three of them preachers. I said, I do? I thought I was the only one. I felt like Elijah. I'm the only remnant. He said, no, 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 no. On this side of the family, you got plenty. I was like, I need to go back there. I'm serious. I do need to go back there. Amen. But see, they're questioning his, his credentials because there was un unlearned. But see, they were saying he was unlearned, but it was really them. Yeah. Isn't there something with the, the, the most unlearned folks are the ones that call you dumb? Yes. Mm. Think you know everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did dumb. Mm -hmm. But see, information was given down through the generations through the spoken word. Your great great granddaddy, uh, and then your great granddaddy, and, uh, and your granddaddy, uh, and then your daddy. Uh, and now what you gonna do? 
That's how they motivated their young men to do better. Amen. So, so where did he learn this new doctrine? It's not written anywhere. Remember the new, the, the new commandments he left? You go love thy God with all your everything. Somebody say everything. 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 And then you're supposed to love your brother and your neighbor. Yeah. But they hadn't seen that in, in the paperwork. Where's this new doctrine coming from? Jesus answered in verse 16. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine. My doctrine is not mine. It must not be because we can't find it in the scroll. But he that sent me. Well, who sent you? I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. We are one. And I think it not robbery. Uh oh, now we got to kill you because you're talking about you, the Son of God. Even though it's in the scriptures that he is going to come and he is, okay. C can you imagine if you bus driver, pull up to a bus stop, open the door, and somebody mad because you showed up? What, what, what's the number of bus? Just give me one. The 30 R shows up. Somebody get to kick it on the tire because the 30 R showed up on the 30 R route. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. The scriptures say he's coming. Now that he's here, you mad. Uh, verse 17. If any man do his will, he shall know of the doctrine what it be of God. Mm -hmm. If you know God's will, in other words, did you read the scriptures? Yes. What's the will of God? I don't know. How can you not know the will of God if you read God's scripture? Because the scripture is an inspired word. And if you uninspired when you read it, you don't get it. Man should always pray. And when you need to pray, if you're going to pray, when you get ready to read them scriptures, that's a good time to do it. Amen. You, you know what I'm saying? How many of you have read something again and didn't see what you saw the first time you read it? Or the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time, or the, you know, we could just go on for a while here, but I'll just move on. Uh huh. But, but see, he says, whether it be of God, if, if you knew the, the doctor, did you know it be of God, or, or whether I speak of myself? Because I'm telling you about my divine side. And you ain't getting it. You, you're accusing me of something. And all I'm doing is telling you about me or the divine side of me. The side of me that the Father's will drew me here. How many of you know you got a divine side? And God didn't check with you to see if you wanted to do it or not. It just kind of like there. And, but but put situations in front of you that if you didn't have him, you couldn't make. Uh, Somebody say divine side. Divine side. Because see, if you could do it, you wouldn't need him. Uh, if you could save yourself, you wouldn't need him. Uh, if you could bless yourself, you wouldn't need him. Uh, Why would he create something that didn't need him and tell it to need him? He'll put it in you and then you can resist it all you want to and the situation will bring you back. He didn't do it. You found yourself in a situation. Now, who made the choice? <laughs> Lord, I want a man. <laughs> Give me a man. <laughs> I need a man. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Now you got a boy running the house. Come on. I need a bike. Lord, I need a bike. <laughs> Why? Mama says she need a man. I heard her in there praying. She need a man. <laughs> and she got one. He punching her in the head, but she got one. I need a bike. I need a bike. It don't work that way, do it? No. 
But see, if, if you get to holler, uh, uh, Bermanio, I'm afraid of the dog. Why am I talking to him about something he can't control? Because <laughs> God, we serve a God that can back the sun up or push it forward. Mm -hmm. I heard it said today, he says, God's first, uh, when, when he was asking um, for a sign, remember, I'm going to give you 15 years. Well, 15 years, I have to wait 15 years to find out if you gave me 15 years. Because you just got to tell me through prophet, I'm going to die. Get my stuff in order, right? You, you know what I'm talking about? So I need a sign. He said, you want the sun to go forward or backwards? Well, forward is too easy and hard to tell. Back it up. So he backed it up. And, and then I remember another fellow, uh, he held a son up so he could finish the battle. Right. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Now, did you know that some scientists sat down, some mathematician major, sat down, calculated that we was missing a certain amount of hours? Because we, how many, how many days a year do we have? Mm -hmm. Six days. More than 365. How much? In the Gregorian calendar, how many days we got? Come on, don't, don't be shy. Throw it out there. We know it's 365 days, but it's 365 and one quarter. That's why every four years you got what we call a leap year. Right. This man calculated all of that and determined we're missing about, about this much time. Then all he had to do is check the Bible. The time that's missing, there it is. See, the more science tries to prove God ain't, he says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now watch this. Now, 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 if, if, any, man, if any man would do his will, that, that, that's what it did say. If a man do his will, he shall know of his doctrine and whether it be of God or whether I sp or Jesus speaks of himself. Now, understand something. I will give you a sure rule by which you may judge his doctrine. If you really do, if you really want to do the will of God, I'm reading you some notes. Begin the practice of it. Uh, take my doctrine and apply it to all you know. God requires of man, if you find one of my precepts contrary to the nature perfections of the glory of God or present an eternal wel or welfare of men, then ye shall be in liberty to assert my doctrine in human uh, erroneous. What are you saying? If you find anything wrong my doctrine, I'll give you the power to do anything anywhere. But it won't. Mm -hmm. Because God's doctrine validates his will. Amen. Oh, 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 no, no, no. See, it's contrary. No, it's not. The Ten Commandments. And then he added two more. Well, was it incomplete? No. The two more asserted the thread that went through all of the ten. Because you didn't understand the ten. I'm going to show you two more that will help you understand the ten. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me just move on. Ver, ver, oh, gosh, I'm running out of time. Uh, he that speaketh of himself speaketh of his own glory. But he that speaketh of his glory that sent him, the same is true. And no unrighteousness is in him. What are you saying? If you talk, if, if, if understand, they got law behind of this. See where I said, if I live here in Manteca and I talked about my glory and testified of me, in that time I could be stoned. Why is that? Because I live within 14 miles of my house. If I'm going to talk of me, I got to get outside 14 mile circle. Mm -hmm. Then I can brag on me all day long. I can testify of me all day long and no problem. But you could talk about me right next to me, no problem. Uh, Pilot. Pilate says, you're the king of the Jews? He said, you say so. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to violate. Mm -hmm. You see that? 
The Lord is 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 so ooh, on point. On point. He didn't miss a jot nor tittle. He missed nothing. I'm not gonna speak of myself. You want to speak of me? That's yeah, no problem. No problem. But I'm not going to do it because then I'll violate the own law. And I'm not going to violate my own law. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hmm? I thought I was good. You thought I was good? You thought I was good? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> it said the same is true that no uh, unrighteousness is in him. He is an upright and faithful man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember, remember the story? The son says, I'm getting up and never move. And Elvis said, I don't want to do it, but got up and did it. Mm -hmm. And the one that got up and did it, the Bible says he's righteous. Mm -hmm. So that's a good example of what happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. Lord, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. because I know what's about to happen. I don't got close to the fire and I'm feeling the heat. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to be flogged all night long. I don't want tusks of my beard ripped out of my face. I don't want to be smoked in the head. I don't want to be beaten. I don't want to be ripped apart. I don't want to be uh, uh, whipped until my insides almost ready to fall out. I don't want to be crucified. Is there another way? Hmm. Yeah. Nevertheless, yeah. not my will, but thine be done. They wanted to find fraud. They wanted to find insincerity of his heart. And the devil was trying his best to pull it out of him. Yeah. But he told Peter, there's one coming who wants to sift you as wheat. Keep reading. He said, but he ain't got nothing in me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I ain't never seen him. So he can't be talking about, I'm a tell. Ain't nothing to tell. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then you sitting there going, yeah, but he could tell on me. I don't done some stuff. But you know you were forgiven of it? Yeah. yeah. So that means it don't count. It can't be used in, in, in a court. You know, the, the, if, if you're going to bring some evidence to the court, it has to be, what they call it, submissible. Right. If it's insubmissible, you can't bring it. I don't care if it's a video with audio, you confess it. If they got it wrong, it's admissible. What are you saying? If it's covered in the blood, it's admissible. Oh, I did this, did this, did this. It's admissible. It's the Passover all over again. Blood is on the map. Anywhere blood is in your history book, it's admissible. Oh, Hallelujah. Now, in the Cyrenic or the uh, Persic version, uh, to render it uh, any dishonesty, his conduct, conduct, he is no cheat. He's not a deceiver. He seeks. His, he does not seek his own glory or his own interest. He came to die for us. Unlike the first man, Adam, that died with his blessing. He died for his. <sighs> Verse 19, can I get that? Ooh, I'm out of time. Darn. <laughs> can I do one more? Yeah. Sure, go ahead, Pastor. Yeah. I, can, I can feel my wife go, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you out of time. She's my timekeeper. I don't blame her. Okay, I'm going to stop. Amen. We're yeah. talking 19, 7, 19. Mm -hmm. 3, 29, 2, 2. So I know I did it. I'm putting it right there. And I'm highlighting it and everything. I don't want to, but I'm going to. <laughs> It's so good. This part is so good. Oh! <laughs> Any questions? Thoughts? No. If you weren't dealing with, with the Pharisees, 
Oh. oh. Those were religious. Those were religious people. Yeah. They had religious spirit. So Jesus was dealing with religious spirit. Yeah. Okay. But they loved him. They loved the Father. Yes. Uh, but they didn't know who their father was. It's because the they looked at the scriptures and like reading like a dictionary. But didn't go deep enough to understand what it was saying. Somebody say deeper. 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 Understand, you can't go deep enough without the Spirit of God helping. No, no, There's a barrier there. You can't get past. I was about to say that. You can't get past. It. Amen. Amen. Yes, now, amen. now, now, do you consider yourself a city folk or a country folk? Both. Just oh. in general, oh. city folk, country, city. city. Now, now, I ain't talking about because you grew up there. I mean, your heart. Do you just love mm. city? Because some folks can't stand Manteca because it's too small. Other folks say, I gotta have high rises and, and, and nightlife and yeah. the city that never sleeps. And I, I wanna be able to go up, get up at three o'clock in the morning and go get milk for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Without having a cow. Amen. But but you understand what I'm saying? Some people have the heart of the city. They just love it. Mm -hmm. Green acres is the oh. <laughs> And, and well, we're going to be starting off and going into when we come back. <laughs> the city folk want to kill it. A portion of it. The other portion of the city folks want to learn from him. But them country folk that came into town for the celebration, them country folk, they was worried about. Because them country folks saw him do miracles, but they didn't know about the plot. And them country folks wasn't necessarily listening to them city folk when they talking about, you know, he don't done all this. Then, oh, I just saw him do a miracle. Mm -hmm. And you can't undo what I saw. Mm -hmm. Now, how many things in your life you can't undo, no matter what somebody else say about the Lord? You got some? I got some. Amen. So I don't care what you say about my God. You can't undo what's in there. You can't. It's impossible. And, and, and to do Jesus wrong in front of them country folk without getting them to get on the fence or, or, or flip on him, don't you do that. We'll kill you. Uh, Second Amendment, that's what we have now. That's what the Second Amendment was about to stop tyranny from government. It's a cycle, starting all over again. They, they oh, I don't wanna, mm, why? They gonna vote me out. Yeah, unless you can make me forget. Country folk, if we can make them forget what he did, we can kill him. Or make them be quiet then we'll get the swing vote and we kill it. That tactic was there then and it's still here now. <sighs> Amen. No, no other questions? No? Stay tuned. Same time, same place next week. Good man. Oh, oh, I, maybe I say same God time, same God place next week. <laughs> Sorry, Batman. You, okay, you, you, you understand. Amen. 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 Uh, we're blessed the viewers that were online tonight. All two of us, me and my wife. I see. Oh, there's some more. It didn't reflect. Uh -huh. Oh, nine. There's nine of them. Wow. Praise, praise the Lord. God bless Thank you, you Pastor. Amen. 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 I wish y'all nine was here. Right. Amen. But I ain't mad at you. No. $6 a gallon. Amen. Amen. I rode my motorcycle today. I had to run to Stockton. I took the bike. Spartan. Boy said, would you just want to go for a ride? I said, no, I'm protesting. 
everything we got in the rolls is in the 20s. This motorcycle, 40 miles a gallon. Wow. I'm protesting. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. Oh, any questions from Homeland, uh, Digital Land? Let me turn the speaker on so I can hear you. <laughs> okay, now if you unmute, I'm unmuted, I'll be able to hear you. I see a chat that says, say it. I praise you, oh God. That's all we got from home. Yeah. Amen. 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 Is God all right with you? Yeah. Right. I mean, don't we have situations that, that ain't all right, but God's still all right. Because yeah. he brings you through it all. Yes, he did. Amen. Can, can, can we just, I mean, did, did we eat a little bit from his word tonight? Yes, we did. Can we thank him for it? Yeah. Can we praise him for it? Can we give him praise, glory, and honor for it? Because if he didn't tell me, I wouldn't know to tell you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. You showed me tonight that I can't come forth until my season comes, yeah. until the time has come. The situation won't go away until the season comes, until the time comes. And when it's fully come, I'm the victor. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, glory. It's not, a, I'll see what the outcome is. I win. I checked the back of the book. Uh, you cheated. You cheated. That's what you did. You cheated. You went to the back of the book and cheated. The devil wants to have you thinking you're going to perish. Ha! I checked the back of the book. I win. Yeah. Paul said, to live is Christ. To die is gain. I still win. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for today. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for your souls that have joined us, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for imparting a word to us that help us understand that when the time is right, you always step in. Yes, Lord. God, you made time go forward. You made time stand still. You even back in Genesis held weather back because there was nobody to tend the garden. God, we thank you for holding us back when we needed to be held back. But God, I pray now that you would loose us, that we would operate in your glory yes. and to your glory. Yes. Bless us, oh God, Bless. to walk worthy and circumspectfully before you. Yes. Bless us, forgive us, yes, sir. anoint us, keep us, yes. and use us. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Good night, all. Oh, bye, Facebook. <laughs>